Hello EMS! It's me, Mrs. Wagner, here to give you some specific information about some of the CCPs available to us at Glencoe. And the first career and college pathway that we're going to talk about is our Health Sciences CCP. So let's hear a little bit more about this career and college pathway program. So this CCP might be a good fit for you if your favorite subjects are science, math, or anything STEM related. So if you think, hmm, I really do love those classes, perhaps your health sciences CCP is a good fit for you. Another thing you might think about is what kinds of jobs you're interested in once you graduate from high school. If you want to get into the medical or health fields, this is definitely a good pathway for you. In this CCP, you'll learn all about careers like being a doctor, a nurse, a dentist, a physical therapist, and other careers in the health fields. If that's something you imagine in your future, or even something you just think is kind of interesting, the CCP would be a really good fit. Plus, along with career-specific information, you're going to learn a whole bunch about character traits that are really important in these fields and in other fields. So, character traits that are important to this CCP are things like self-efficacy. That's your belief that you can succeed. Empathy. That's being able to understand how someone else is feeling or know what they're thinking. Stress management, right? That's how well you can handle having a lot of responsibility. Relationship building, that's connecting to other people. And then analyzing solutions, figuring out the best ways to solve problems. All of these are things you'll really need if you're in the medical or health fields, dealing with patients, helping them make big health decisions. But they're also skills that you can take with you to any career. So you can see there's a lot of really cool reasons to be part of the CCP let's talk about what it looks like to do this CCP at Glanco High School. And we'll start by talking about some of the specific skills and activities you'll be able to learn and do as part of this CCP. So, as a health sciences student at Glanco High School, you'll be able to understand anatomy and physiology. That's how the body moves and how it works. You'll get to visit a cadaver lab to see firsthand how the human body is set up. You'll learn all about medical ethics, the do's and don'ts of what to do in a medical situation. You'll learn theories about health behaviors. You'll get first aid certification, which is pretty cool. And you'll learn all about medical terminology. What do medical words mean? And like with all of our CCPs, you will get the opportunity to have a hands-on internship experience at a local hospital or local medical centers. So much cool stuff. So Mrs. Wagner, what classes do I have to take to be part of this CCP? I'm glad you asked. To complete this CCP, you have to take three classes. Your junior year, you will take Anatomy and Physiology and Health Sciences 1 at the same year at the same time. And your senior year, you will take Health Sciences 2. This is where you'll do your senior project. All students in Glencoe and all students in the Hillsborough School District have to do a senior project. And those who are in a CCP get to do their project in their capstone course. Capstone is just the fancy name for the final class you have to take for a CCP. So Health Sciences 2 is the capstone class for the CCP. That's where you'll do your senior project. So easy peasy. Sounds pretty cool. If you want to get a little glimpse into what this CCP is all about, then you can take the Intro to Health Sciences class either your freshman or sophomore year. This class is a little sneak peek, if you will, and it gives you an introduction to all things health sciences. You can put it on your ninth grade forecasting if you like. Now, since we love thinking ahead, let's talk about some of the things you can do after high school within this field. So there are lots of different pathways you could follow right after high school. For instance, you could go to a trade school. This pathway is a great one if you'd like to do any sort of medical assistance of any kind, like a dental assistant or a physical therapy assistant. And if you'd like to expand on that, you could get an associate's degree. You can get this at a community college and this two year degree can help you become any sort of medical technician, a registered nurse, a dental hygienist, and so much more. There are tons of options available for you. You can also go to a four-year university to get a bachelor's degree in a, in a science degree or a pre-medical degree. You can get a bachelor's degree in nursing if you wanted. Lots of options there too. And then if you want to further your education and go on to medical school, 
pharmacy school or anything similar, you can go on to get some further graduate degrees after you finish your bachelor's degree. So as you can see, there are tons of options for getting plugged into the health industry after high school. And good news, Oregon has tons of local options for getting these degrees. All of our state universities have bachelor degree options in a variety of different sciences and areas of study. And we have some incredible medical associates degree options available through PCC. Also, the Oregon Health and Science University, OHSU, is an incredible spot for continuing your medical studies after you finish a bachelor's degree. People from all over the country go to OHSU to further their health sciences studies. But before you head off into the world, our Health Sciences CCP is an excellent place to get started. Our Health Sciences teacher is Miss Lewis, and she is an incredible source of knowledge about all things health science related. You can reach out to her if you'd like some more specific information about our program here at Glencoe High School. So if you're interested in anything in the health and medical fields, I would definitely recommend checking out our Health Sciences CCP. Whew, that was a lot of information I know, but I have some good news. If you have any questions about what it's like being a Health Sciences CCP student, what the experience is like, what it means, well then you have the very exciting opportunity to actually ask Glencoe High School students all about it. This Thursday, December 9th, during both lunches, we are going to be visited by some real Glencoe High School students who are part of the Health Sciences CCP. That means that they are coming from Glencoe, they are bringing their health sciences stuff, and they're going to be ready to talk to you guys all about what it's like to do this program, what, it, what it's like to be in the CCP pathway, health sciences. So if you have any questions, check them out at lunch. They are so, so, so excited to share all their experiences, all their information, and all the fun things that being in a health sciences CCP is all about. And as usual, if you have any questions, feel free to check in with me, Mrs. Wagner. I'm in the counseling office every Thursday, and I'm really stoked to answer any of your questions. So until then, I'll catch you at lunchtime, and I'll see you around. Thanks, EMS.